Hey guys, and welcome to the third episode of Plucks of Games Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie Game series. And today we will be going over the enemy attack script, so let's get right into it. So, last episode we finished off with doing the enemy movement, so then they follow us around the screen. So, first of all, today we're going to create a new C -sharp script and name that enemy, enemy health not health, sorry. Um, change it to attack, sorry, sorry about that. Um, okay, change it to attack and then double click to open. Because my stuff up, it says enemy health 1, so we have to change this to enemy, enemy attack. Sorry. Um, so then we're first of all we're going to create some new variables. We'll call these public max distance. Oh, sorry, public float max distance. Public float um, cooldown time. Um, Public and um, player health, not player breath, player health ph. So, what this is doing is setting it to this script. So, we're um, declaring as a type of this script of the player health script so we can access that script. So, two more, I think, I believe, private my transform no I keep forgetting to declare transform my transform and uh, one more private no public transform target so first of all we are going to go to our movement script enemy movement and copy these two lines here and put them here so we are finding we're setting the target transform to our player's transform and then we will set the my transform to equal to transform so whoever's holding the script um, then we'll max distance equal to three for now cooldown timer to equal to one and then we need to find the ph script, we need to declare this script. So what we're going to do is, we've already got this variable go finding the player, so we can just use that, so we can go ph equals, and we type cast player health, and then we're going to go go dot get component type of player health and that should be working so we get unity check for errors and that's fine now we can check this one by going to enemy dragging the attack script on and then seeing if this snaps to the play first person Control. Yep, okay, so that works. That's accessing that script. So now we can, we need to create a distance variable, a float um, called distance. And we're going to equal that to a vector 3 dot distance between the target dot position and the my transform, so the enemies transform dot position okay so then we're going to create an is statement to say that if distance is less than not greater than this less than max distance then we're going to call the attack script not enemy attack 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 function not script sorry um 
so we're going to create that just after this one and we're not going to return anything so that's going to be a void attack and in here we're just going to just quickly we're going to see if it's working by going ph dot change health and we're going to sub in a variable of 10 so essentially at the moment it will go quickly as soon as the um, enemy is within three three um, the distance of three away from the carrot from the player then it's gonna just subtract 10 subtract 10 over and over and over again so it will go quickly so just watch the health bar and the just straight down so what we what we need to do is put a timer on that so that he can't just you know s take away all of our health in tw 2 seconds so what we're going to do is go if um, cooldown timer cooldown timer is less than is equal to 0 then we're going to call this script call this function oh, we have to go equal to equal equal yep that works okay so if it's equal to zero we're going to call that thing but at the moment we're not doing anything with that time so we're never going to be able to he's never going to be able to attack us so what we need to do is um, on the start function we'll actually set that to zero um, instead of one because he hasn't attacked yet so he doesn't need a timer so what we're going to do in here is going to go cooldown timer equals one times minus time dot delta time no equal to one and then is it minus or is it time time dot delta time no it would be it's equal to one and we're going to in the update function if if cooldown timer is greater than greater than zero then we're going to cooldown timer equals cooldown timer times time dot delta time I think that will work um, because it's public we can look at it so we'll equal to zero then it's going to equal to one it's going to subtract 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 so that's working yes perfect but what we need to do is go if Create an update function because this is only going to um, fix up the cooldown if they're in within the distance. So it's gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna get extreme negative values if we don't um, uh, fix that up. So what we're gonna do is go if, if the cooldown function, cooldown timer, is less than zero, we're gonna equal it to zero. Zero, not one. So that should be a little bit better. So now we're not getting as many negative things. So as soon as it goes negative, every frame it's going to set that back to zero. So if it's less than zero, set it to zero. Um, that now what do we need to do we should actually probably set this to two so they've got slower attacking and we will instead of putting 10 in here we'll go um, damage and we will make a script called public integer damage and we're going to just start that and equal damage to equal negative 10 so we can change that later 
Um, um, what we want to do is make sure that the player, that the enemy is facing us, so that we are not behind them. So if we're behind them, they can't attack us from behind. They can't you know, reach back and attack us. So what we want to do is create one or two more functions, two more, two more variables. Sorry, um, we're gonna create one a vector three, and this one's gonna be dir for direction is equal to um, target dot position. And my transform dot position position no position dot normalized. So we're going to normalize it. Normalized. Um, actually, we need to do this as a vector three. Vector three. That's why it wasn't working. Um, so then after that we're going to, we're getting, essentially getting a distance between the target and the transform and making it equal to 1 so with the normalize. So then we're going to create a float of direction. We're going to equal that to vector 3 dot 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 um, and we're going to just put in dir for direction so we're going to put in that one and we're going to put in transform out form dot forward so then that's going to see whether we are they of what, what direction they are so that's the direction of the thing so what it means is that what this is going to give us a positive a, a value between 1 and negative 1. If it's negative 1, they're exactly, they're behind us. If it's positive 1, they're in front of us, but then it's going to range. So if it's like 0 0.5, it's going to be be beside us. Yeah, things like that. So what we need to do is then go in here and go create an if statement. And then if direction is greater than 0, so what we're saying is if they are in front of us because the negative value is behind us if they're in front of us then we can attack them so let's see if that works but oh we get an error the 40 30 43 43 oh god type value very Close this, sorry. Um, let's just retype that one. Vector 3. Um, transform. Ah, oh, minus, that's right. It wasn't transform. It's target. Target dot position minus the my transform dot position and then dot normalized now that should be fixed no we still got it normalized is that it Shouldn't be able, yeah, sure that it was normalized with a Z. Um, I'll just double check this, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's um vector three dot normalize and get rid of the norm dot normalized at the end. So that fixes that and. To test that, you can put in debug.log and the direction, and you'll get the directions. So that should all be working for now. Um, that's it for this episode. Um, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, rate, and subscribe. 
I hope you like it and the next episode we will be fixing up some of the scripts and the scene just making things look better and work better so that's that's all good so bye